Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a 2019 limited edition of 150 pieces. This is the Grand Seiko Elegance Collection SBGK004, a sensational Arushi lacquer black dial gloss finish. Takamaki E numerals and indices, and a red gold case, 39 millimeters, and wonderfully slim at 12 millimeters with a generously domed sapphire and sloped profile. The timepiece wears easily on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, and you can see it does have a little bit of a vintagey appearance with the 19 millimeter spacing between lugs. So 12 millimeters thick, 39 millimeters in diameter, and from lug to lug, a very reasonable 43.9 millimeters. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. It wears well on wrists of all sizes. Now the timepiece has a lush Japanese manufactured, just about everything in the watch is made in Japan and just about everything in the watch is made by Seiko or Grand Seiko, but a Japanese manufactured high gloss, a large rectangular scale alligator leather strap with a monotone stitch of folded edge. You can see this is a new Grand Seiko strap, so you'll have the right of gouging it first. The thing that shocks me here is that while it is a new strap, and new straps are usually stiff straps, this one feels almost butter-like. It is incredibly supple. It, it, it feels as though the material were tenderized after being tanned. It is incredibly comfortable. You'll also note that there's a handsome and nicely proportioned satin and polished pin buckle to evoke that mid-century elegance that the watch is trying to channel and does so quite effectively. Now let's get close to the case band. You can see the optically smooth mirrored finish executed via the tin plate Zeratsu polishing that Grand Seiko uses on its high-end watches and you can see that that Optically smooth polishing executed with a Zalitz machine is entirely manual. It's done by eye, hand coordination, and artisanal experience. It is very difficult to do. Simply executing the optically smooth surface is remarkable, but doing it millimetrically identical from side to side and end to end, that takes a craftsman's touch. You'll find that this watch is entirely hand finished inside and out. Satin finish along the case band, which is narrow. If you look at the underside, there's a bit of a camber to the case, and then the underside, which has a concave profile, is also Zeratsu mirror finished. Quite impressive. Jumping back to the dial side, this is the other element of the hand finishing. The bezel is conical, narrow, and polished, and the dial is executed using Urushi lacquer in Kanazawa. It's done by a gentleman named Ishu Tamura, who is a specialist in exactly this kind of tree sap based traditional Japanese Urushi lacquer. So that's what creates the gloss black base. But then you also have the numerals and the indices, and these are created using a Takamaki E traditional craft art that builds up a three-dimensional figure using gold and platinum powder mixed with lacquer. You create these three-dimensional indices and you can see they're idiosyncratic in their shape and form, making them very Grand Seiko. So everything that looks like silver on the dial is platinum and everything that looks like gold is gold. You also have the hand-finished well, hands at center, 72 hour power reserve, constant seconds at 9 o'clock, and then you have faceted and alternately satin and polished Dauphine hands in red gold at center. The faceting is so sharp and distinctly broken from the satin on the top that I recommend you buy a loop to enjoy the dial side of this watch once you make your purchase of the SBGK004. Turn it all over, this 150 piece limited edition features Grand Seiko's first new manual wind movement in eight years. The screwed in case back endowing the watch with a 30 meter water resistance over a movement with a 72 hour manual wind power reserve beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, 33 joules adjusted in six positions, remember a chronometer standard is generally five. Grand Seiko makes an attestation. The watch will be no worse than minus three plus five seconds over 24 hours. What does that mean? Well, that means it exceeds the COSC chronometer standard of minus four plus six seconds. Very impressive. And again, everything here from the shock protection to the jewels, right down to the lubricants used created in-house by Seiko and Grand Seiko. Impressive manufacturer watchmaking. It is the complete package. From the Elegance Collection, the watch lives up to its name. See it and make the SBGK004 yours on the watch box.